What's up guys, Retro Gamer Steve back with another video. And tonight's video is an awesome pickups video. I am so excited to show you guys these items. Um, I was very happy to pick all of these items up, but there's one in particular at the end that uh, really made my week. So, um, you know, don't skip all the way to the end. There's good stuff all throughout, but uh, hope you guys enjoy. And without any further ado, let's check out the items I picked up in the last week. All right, guys. Well, before we get into the games, and I do have quite a few, I'm going to show you uh, two pieces that are definitely game related, but are not video games. The first one is a carrying case for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Um, picked this up for $8 and cleaned it up. Uh, the only issue on the is on the back where it looks like somebody spilled a bunch of wax had fallen on it. Um, I've cleaned the majority of that off, and I still have um, a little bit more to go. This is pretty much cleaned off and smooth. It just um, looks a little wonky, but uh, for eight dollars, I definitely couldn't leave this behind because it's actually in really good shape. And I do like to have official um, carrying cases for specific handhelds, or not official, but uh, carrying cases for specific handhelds themselves instead of some type of universal. Um, so that way when Leanne and I go out of town, we can take handhelds with us and we don't have to worry about them getting damaged in some universal style case. So that's the first item I picked up there. Not bad for eight bucks. All right, I don't know what's going on with the camera. And then the second item is something I was super, super excited to pick up. Um, and let me see which way it is here. It is a comic book page, however, when you open it up, and I'm trying to be careful here, it's a two-page advertisement for Splatterhouse on the Turbo Graphic 16. <clears throat> excuse me, on the Turbo Graphic 16, and this was in a comic. And uh, let's see, I'm not quite sure which comic book this is. If you guys know, uh, let me know in the comments down below. But um, this thing is absolutely pristine. I'm going to frame this up and hang it on the wall. It is from 1988 to 19, well, 1990. And I saw this and fell in love with it and had to have it. I want stuff like this on my wall. Um, this is just absolutely killer. So, really happy to have that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and fold that back up and put it in a safe spot. Alright, well I wasn't going to do this. I usually like to clean my games before I show them on camera and before I add them to my collection. But I just picked up these five games from a local thrift store today. Uh, all for less than three bucks a piece and the first one is Batman Arkham City for the PS3 it's a complete copy Far Cry Primal for the Xbox One you can even see uh, the prices this one looks like the case might have had a little bit of water damage but um, for less than three bucks whoops uh, for less than three bucks I couldn't leave it behind and we got RBI Baseball 2017. Again, um, well, I don't know if this one came with anything or not, but uh, and then this red marker rubs, cleans right off, but less than $3. And then Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004 for the Nintendo GameCube. Unfortunately, it is missing the manual, but it does have both discs. And the case is overall in decent condition. So for less than three bucks, I will definitely add another GameCube game. And I 
I absolutely love the Tiger Woods golf games. I can't even tell you how many thousands of hours I've put into those games over the years. And then the last one I picked up for less than three bucks for the original Xbox is the limited collector's edition Splinter Cell that comes with this outer sleeve. And it is the steel book of Chaos Theory. And uh, this thing overall is in really nice shape. It's got both discs and the manual and the slip cover, which is the most important thing. But super, super cool item to add for less than $3. Really happy to have that. So I'll go ahead and throw those over here, even though those all need to be cleaned. All right, then some other Goodwill finds I got earlier this week. These are all PS2. Uh, first one, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. I think this one's missing the manual. Yep. Then Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. I think this one as well. Yep. But again, got these at Goodwill for a good price. Uh, couldn't leave them behind. Then Tony Hawk's Underground 2. This one's complete. Oh, damn it. I thought one of these was complete. All right. Unfortunately, that one's not complete either. Um thought that one had the manual maybe not either way i was really happy to add underground two especially and uh three or four one of those two i think is a duplicate but for the price i had to pick it up and then i ordered the rest of these games off of uh ebay because uh, my girlfriend has just completely fallen in love with this game series uh, or these types of games and so i had to grab a bunch of them for her to play the first one is rock band and these again these are all ps2 games because that's the one we've been playing on and these are all complete by the way there's rock band rock band track pack classic rock these are all really cool because it's just a bunch of uh really really cool songs all classic rock tracks then uh country track pack uh this one's actually in the ps2 because she was playing it two nights ago and then ACDC live track pack this one's a lot of fun all the heavy hitters all live really fun game another complete one I got all of these all of these music games for four bucks a piece and then guitar hero encore rocks the 80s this was one you don't see very often um and i love 80s music so really happy to add that one complete and then the last one is guitar hero 3 legends of rock this is my favorite uh guitar hero game of all time and again nice complete copy and i got all of those in a lot from one seller for 25 bucks or whatever it was but it ended up coming out to four dollars per game which is pretty good considering uh, we've already way more than gotten our money's worth out of these games. All right, so on to some other stuff here. A um, few PS or a few Xbox 360 titles I picked up. The first one is Gears of War 3. Uh, did not have this one in my collection. Unfortunately, it's missing the manual, but I'll find one or find another copy and sell that one. Um, then Gears of War Judgment. Uh, this is one I did not have as well. This one's a complete copy. Definitely happy to add that one to the Gears collection. And then the last 360 game I added is a game I uh, bought when it first came out. Played through it. Absolutely loved it. And then I just remembered this game a little while ago and wanted to pick it back up. And that is Clive Barker's Jericho. Uh, so I had a blast playing this game. Um, if you guys have never played this, it's, it's definitely worth checking out if you're into horror, first person, just awesomeness and weirdness. 
Um, this is a complete copy. Very nice. Looks like nobody ever even pulled the manual out. But real happy to have this in the collection and to be able to play this one again. This is a really messed up game, but a lot of fun. All right. Uh, then I picked up one GameCube game. Uh, or sorry, uh, yeah, GameCube game. Really, really happy to add this one. And that is Ultimate Muscle Legends vs. New Generation. And this is an awesome, uh, super fast wrestling style game. Um, super combo moves. It's just over the top uh, with uh, anime style animation before the super moves. This is a complete copy and really happy to be able to add this to the growing GameCube collection. And then uh, I had this game for the PlayStation Vita, Extreme Legends Dynasty Warriors uh, 8 Complete Edition, loose. Uh, I rarely pick up loose cartridges, but I got this when um, one of those times Best Buy or GameStop is running those, um, one of those sales, buy X amount of games for under this amount of money and get one, uh, get a used game for free or for half off or not for free, but half off or whatever. So I picked this up and I was able to find a game case for it. So... Now I'm able to complete this game for my Vita, which makes me really happy. So now I have a complete copy of Extreme Legends Dynasty Warriors 8. Love completing Vita games or adding Vita games. Um, this is a game I had pre-ordered. I already have the limited run edition, but I wanted to pick up the Team 17 edition of Blasphemous, the, the deluxe edition. Uh, this one is going to remain sealed because my limited run version is already open. Uh, and this comes with uh, a map, stickers, and a digital soundtrack, um, digital comic book, digital artwork, uh, two bonus skins. And uh, yeah, so wanted to have a sealed copy of this game. This game is just an awesome game um super hardcore really fun and really tough so glad to uh, have that in the collection um now i will show the three sega genesis games i picked up and these are all complete in box and the first one is wwf royal rumble look at that boys look at that Oh, yeah. Um, I don't have a bunch of wrestling games. Uh, I always try to look out for some games that I think are going to be fun. Um, and this one looked like it uh, could be a lot of fun. And it wasn't bad um, on the price. It does have... Um, the cartridge looks pretty nice. Manual has definitely been read through. And then it's got the other stuff in the back. So the manual has been loved, but everything else is in really nice shape. So really happy to add Royal Rumble. Then I picked up Stargate. I am a huge fan of this movie. Uh, not so much of the TV shows, but absolutely love the movie. And this is based off of the movie. Um, I have played this a little bit since I, since I picked it up. And it's a really, really fun game. This is an acclaimed title. Uh, done really well. A great platformer. Manual's in really nice shape. Cartridge is in nice shape. And uh, again, real happy to add another complete Genesis game. And then the last is Judge Dredd. So really, really happy to add this game to the collection. Um... This game is also complete. Manual is in pretty good shape. Cartridge is in nice shape, nice sticker. And everything looks really good on this. I have come across this one a few times, but the side is uh, 
or the spine is always, um, what am I thinking of, uh, bleached out or sun faded. Um, so I finally came across a nice copy and decided to add this to the collection. I love this movie. I know people crap on it and Dredd should not remove his helmet, which Stallone does pretty much right away in the movie. Um, and the movie that came out with Carl Urban as Dredd is an actual much better movie as far as Judge, Judge Dredd's character goes. But this is a fun, campy film. I loved it when I was younger. I still love it now. Um, and of course, this game is based off of this movie. So really happy to add another complete Sega Genesis game. All right, as you guys know, I am actively trying to complete a North American Wii U set. So after what I'm about to show you, I will only have six or seven games remaining. I think it's only six. Uh, so the first one is a sealed copy of Zumba Fitness. Also comes with the Zumba pad. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have the big outer box, but these are both sealed. I don't know what happened to the outer box, but uh, I will try and keep an eye out for it. If I see it, I'll pick it up just to make it complete, but it does have a, a bigger outer box that these should both go in. But either way, I have the game. And we'll just throw that right there. And... So again, I need these games for a complete North American Wii U set. So the next game is Barbie Dreamhouse Party. This is a complete copy. This is dancing and dressing up, I believe. Monster High, 13 Wishes. Another complete copy. I uh, have no idea what this game is, but I needed it, and um, Leanne's daughter will enjoy playing it, so there you go. Now on to some games more up my alley. Wheel of Fortune. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, uh, this game and uh, Jeopardy always require that to acquire, because these games, for some reason, are uncommon. Um... But uh, happy to add this one. I actually really enjoy playing these games. This is a nice, complete copy. Then Bayonetta 2. Now, this is the second version of this game. Um, there are, are two versions of this game. One, uh, they both look exactly the same, except the other one has a circle up here that says includes Bayonetta 1 on a different disc. And this one is just Bayonetta 2. Well, I already have the other version, so I needed to pick this up to uh, have all of the releases, even though I already have this damn game. Um, so now I have both versions of Bayonetta 2, um, and this one is complete as well. And this is the more common version, and the other one I already had is the more uncommon version. Then... Minecraft Story Mode, The Complete Adventure, another complete title. I have never played this, uh, so I have no idea how good this is, but I do enjoy the Telltale games, so um, even though I'm not a Minecraft fan as much, uh, this could be, could be decent. Then we have Angry Birds Trilogy, another complete copy. This is Angry Birds. And then the last Wii U title I picked up is New Super Luigi U. Uh, again, I already had this game because this one comes with the New Super Mario uh, Bros U or whatever it's called. And it has this game uh, takes up the bottom third of the case. But this was a separate release. So again, I picked up a game I already had because I needed it. But I do enjoy this green case, even though it's going to stick out like a sore thumb from the uh, light blue. But this is a nice, complete copy as well. And really happy to have all of these. So, like I said, that leaves me with five 
I think Wii U titles left and I will have a full set. So the last item I picked up is the one I was the most excited to get. And that is for the Sega Saturn, a system I haven't picked up anything for in a while, but this is a heavy hitter. And that is the Die Hard Arcade. So this is a beautiful copy. Um, this is a beat em up seriously fun beat em up um, you actually have a thousand different moves you can do in this game and it's just a ton of fun and actually Dynam Dynamite Cop 2 is the uh, successor or sequel to this game But uh, really, really happy to have a nice, really nice complete copy of this game. Um, the Saturn is a system I wish I could add more games to my library more often, but they're, they're just so damn expensive. Uh, even has the foam inside. Um, really, really happy to add this game to the Saturn collection. I can't wait. This just came in today. I can't wait to play this. Um, I had to make this video first, but uh, yeah, by the time you guys are watching this video, I will already be balls deep into Die Hard Arcade, so yippee ki -yay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this pickups video. If you did, and you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, guys, think about hitting that subscribe button for me and give me a big thumbs up. That always helps small channels like mine grow and gain traction. And you can always go check out my Instagram page. It's Steve Craig Retro Games, same as it is down below. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, pickups that I got over the last week. Um, some really cool games, some games that made me very happy, some games that made uh, my wonderful girlfriend Leanne very happy. And then as you saw at the end, uh, picking up Die Hard Arcade for the Sega Saturn um, was definitely my grab for the week. It's a game I've been wanting for quite a while, and since I picked it up, uh, I have definitely put a couple hours into it, and I am absolutely having a blast. It's so much fun, um, and the graphics, although they haven't aged quite as well, it is still seriously fun to just go in there and kick some major ass. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, what was your favorite item? Do you guys own Die Hard Arcade and do you enjoy it? And um, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Make sure you come back Monday for my handheld game of the week. So until then, guys, take care of yourselves out there and keep gaming.